of like when I watch my children play, I'm not going to dictate everything that they're doing. And I just let them do what they're doing, you know, and, and that allows for their creativity. It allows for them to uh, just be autonomous and learn their own um, way of life and do it naturally, you know, and that just makes things a lot easier when you lay off and you just allow your children to be that they are autonomous, that they're their own person and that uh, they are able to make their own decisions, you know, as parents guiding them through that so that, okay, we can do that. Or maybe that's not the best idea to go into the street. Let's try a different route, you know, but um, I believe if you give your children um, a lot of respect to their decisions, they become a lot more independent at an earlier age and they're able to rely on themselves and believe in themselves. And I get that too. When I take my kids out and about, people are just, they're amazed at how, uh, my kids are very, they're able to carry on a conversation with adults. Mm. Um, and it, almost as if they're equals, you know, like they'll, they'll just have a full on conversation with them and people always compliment me on that. And, you know, and I'm like, well, it's cause that's how I talk to them. You know, I don't talk down at them. I don't use baby words. Never did. Like I've always talked to them as if, um, they were another person I respect because they do exactly. Well, and then you don't, you don't want to teach them that just because someone said so you go along with it. I mean, that's right. the problem with statism, right? right? Like the ultimate, because I said so, is the state, you know what I mean? And that's something my mom used to do all the time. I would ask her something and she'd say, well, because I said so. <laughs> a- end of conversation. You don't get to ask any more questions. And I remember being frustrated because it didn't make any sense to me. Like, well, but then who are you? Like, mm. why do you get to say so? You know, <laughs> you know, there's got to be a way to integrate my principles as an anarchist mm. using self-ownership. What better way to teach children about self-ownership than, okay, personal space? You know, what does that look like? And so from from the time that they, my daughter was two and my son was a newborn, I talked about self-ownership. And I explained it in a way where it's like, you know, if my daughter is trying to manipulate my son, like, here, come over here. I want you to do this. And he's not happy with that. And like, whoa, let's wait a minute. This doesn't work. You're violating his self-ownership. He's not happy with that. And you know, you, he's autonomous, you're autonomous, you guys have your own self-ownership, you, you know, you can, you can protect that, you're responsible for that, 